Hi Stampers, my name is Elizabeth and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Canada. I'm just outside the Toronto, Ontario area. Um, thanks for joining in today on the very first uh, Global Stampin' Up! Vlog Hop. Uh, some of you may have followed along on our global Stampin' Up! share fairs and the next one will be the end of August, but this is just another take on it. We are sharing our vlogs with you, so I hope you will follow along and um, follow along to all of the different vlogs. Um, hit subscribe, like, and be inspired because we are here to inspire you. So um, I'm going to be playing today with the Birds and Branches stamp set. All of the projects that we are making today um, are items um, using things in the annual catalog. So I'm going to be using the Birds and Branches stamp set and the uh, Birds and More dies. I'm also going to be using the large oval, a die from the stitched framelit ovals. And I'm going to be using a sentiment from Free as a Bird. I love how these two sets um, sort of um, uh, mix together really well. This one doesn't have any sentiments, but this one does. So I'm pulling one of the sentiments out of here for the, um, for the card. So the card is still a work in progress, and I think I've got it down how I want it. Um, but I want to finish it. I'm going to start it and finish it with you. Um, so it's called, I think, a TP card and I'm going to show you some tricks on how to make this card, um, options on how you can seal it at the back, and um, tips on scoring and um, using Stamparatus, so this might be a little bit long, so I hope you stick with me. Okay, so get out your pen and paper because I am going to give, oh, you know, I've got to move this because it keeps clicking and it might interfere the, um, with the microphone. Okay get out your pen and paper because I've got measurements for you. I love this card because it folds flat and fits into the envelope like that. And I'm going to show you some tricks um, on how, how to make this card so that it will fit in the envelope. Um, you need three pieces of the um, Bumblebee cardstock, and they are four by four. You need one piece of the in color DSP. I'm looking at my notes over here, which is three quarters by three quarters. You need one piece of Whisper White, which is three quarters by three quarters. And you're going to need uh, some crumb cake, uh, old olive. I've already die cut these out and I'm going to show you how to use the Stamparatus. Um, some Whisper White and some Whisper White. And you're also going to need some soft sea foam. Love this color. It's such a beautiful, neutral, calming color. Okay, so first off, you're going to take your three pieces of Bumblebee cardstock that is four by four and you're going to take out your scoring tool magic to magic of television I have mine right here what I have done is and I, I I didn't do this for this card I've done it in general at the six inch mark here I have taken an exacto knife I'm uh, not an exacto um say sharp uh, a sharpie sorry sharpie and I have taken the Sharpie all the way down. Why did I do that? Because your four by four, you need to score it from that point to that point. So that is going to be, allow me to put that in at the six mark. And then down here, I know that's at the, that's at the six mark. So you can use your um, paper, your paper, paper cutter for this as well. But I like my scoring tool and I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to, uh, and you're going to cut it on the, um, cut it, score it on the diagonal. And you're going to do all three pieces. That's the first part. And you're going to need your bone folder for this as well. And you're going to fold it and score it on that line to get a nice crisp um, fold. Like that. And then the last one, oops, like 
of that. Okay, now I'm going to take one of them and this is going to go get mounted like that and this one is going to get mounted like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil like that and I'm going to mark it like that. So what that means is I need to put adhesive on this side and I'm going to do one at a time. Okay, and I'm going to use um, Tombow glue for this just because it's going to give me wiggle room and it's um, once it's adhered and cured, um, it's not, it's really strong. So you're going to match up the top. Can you see that? Yeah, you can match up the top along that line, whoops, like that. And I'm just going to, I've got a little bit of adhesive there. There we go. So there we have the first one. And now we're going to do the same on the other side. This card is great. Um, I like to make, uh, take this technique and I've made Christmas cards before and um, they're really fun to put together and even uh, fun to receive. Okay, and there's different options of how to close it. And I'm gonna give you a couple of options when I get there. Okay, so there's the card like that. And so ultimately it's going to fold like that and it's going to stand up like that. Kind of looks like, is it Star Wars? I was, I'm not a Star Wars fan, so. Um, my paper trimmer, let me just get that out. Sorry, I just appeared there for a second because I forgot I needed my paper trimmer. Um, now what you're going to do with the piece of um, designer series paper that was uh, three and three quarters by three and three quarters, you are going to put it in the groove there and the groove down there and you are going to cut it just like that. So you're going to end up two, two triangles and you're going to do the same thing with the piece of whisper white. Okay. I think I can put this away again. Alrighty. If you don't have room on your on your uh, desk, just put it on the floor. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, okay, so um, this is what the, it looks like. This, where this fold is, is going to be your back. So this is going to be your back. That is where you're going to put um, your whisper white because you're going to write your sentiment. And then this is going to be the, the um, designer series paper. But before we do this, um, you've got a couple of ways to close this. I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. You can use um, magnets, right? Like a magnet right here. Like, magnet here and here, fold it like that. Um, you can use um, Velcro, but I'm going to use some ribbon. And this ribbon is from the Flowers for Every Season combo pack. It's just the white, white ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put a ribbon here. There's no, um, uh, designer series paper going to go over no sorry you're not going to put it here because that's going to get tucked under like that you're going to put it on this side so designer series paper is going to go over here and the whisper white is going to go here and so these two pieces of ribbon will match here and you will um, uh, that's how you'll tie it together so what I'm going to do is I am going to the, I brought some, I just have a piece of tape. I'm going to put a piece of tape there for now. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Because it's on an angle, you've got to make sure things match up. So I'm taping it there, and then I'm going to bring it over like that. And I want to make sure that this piece of white is right there. So I'm going to put a piece of, and that way it's going to match doesn't matter how far up or down you put it, just as long as you match one to the other. And like I said, you can, if you'd like, put um, uh, 
Velcro. Uh, you can close it with Velcro. Okay, now I am going to put a piece of tear and tape just to secure that down a little bit more like that now that I have it where I want it and I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape right kind of there and I'm going to do the same on this side and I'm just once I get the tear and tape on I'm going to show it to you again so you can you can see where it goes okay so you've got this is this is going to get tucked under and it's going to go like that and so this you're going to put a piece of a designer series paper here and the piece of white here and the white is where you're actually going to write your sentiment right and then these two are going to um, tie together okay so let me put that down like that so that's how it's going to go and I am going to peel this off and I am going to use Tombow again and this one is going to be is going to get mounted like that and this one is going to be the white uh, yeah this one's going to get mounted like that okay so I'm going to put Tombow like that and this is um, I cut it three and three quarters by three and three quarters so that you're going to leave an, an edge like a matted edge right like normal and oops, I got a little bit too much there like that there we go okay and now we're going to do the same thing with the white and it's going to get mounted like that now I am not a mathematician I am and I have to tell you that few tips with this type of card don't use stripes here because you it will be a pain to um, get the stripes going in the right direction evenly because while this may look like you're straight here once you fold it it's on an angle and oh I, I'm I've struggled I actually one year what I did make use stripes and I made I figured out the angle and I made a template and thank God for the template because oh, it was I was stressed and then this one is going to go like that just getting that angle right so that the stripe was going in the right direction and wasn't askew okay and you're wondering why um, I didn't stamp on here first it's because of that angle so you look at it and you think oh, okay so the angle straight but once you fold the card together what you thought was a straight straight angle is not a straight angle I hope that makes sense to you okay and then the last piece of designer series paper is going to go here like that okay and again I am going to put some Tombow glue the Tombow glue it's just so I can get to the tips because it's on an angle and um, that's why I'm, I don't normally use Tombow glue for to make my cards not not for any reason I just um, not that I don't like it it's just um, I just like the regular adhesive um, but because this has tip like points to it I wanted to make sure I got all those edges there we go okay and there is the card so that's the basis of the card and now <coughs> excuse me got a tickle and now I'm going to um, fold it I'm gonna fold it and tie it and show you what it looks like <coughs> I'll fold it up but I'm going to show you some tricks on um, building the card so that it will go into the envelope properly it's not a pretty bow but there you go so that's how the card looks and we're going to build our sentiment here our, sorry our, our, the front of our card here 
and the sentiment will go back there. So that's what it'll look like. Okay, now I've taken piece of the largest oval in the soft sea foam and I'm going to build everything on this. And I do need my stamparatus. Okay, so I've done this technique before. I've shown this before, but if you're not familiar with it, <clears throat> I have die cut out. Um, I just gotta make sure I've got the right, uh, right one. Nope, it should be this side. There we go. So I've die cut out a bunch of the um, uh, nests. And what I'm going to do is and I've I do this uh, da, da, da. Oh, nope it was the right way you have to make sure you've got to go in the right direction um, I do this be when I'm doing mass production or if I don't want to be having to go over to the um, uh, die cutting machine while I'm doing a class so I pre-cut it out and I show you this trick this technique so I've I've put it in there and so I'm going to take um, my nest that's off the block and I'm just going to lay it in there like that I'm going to pick it up and I'm using what color am I using I'm using the soft suede oh, I just realized sorry that light is a not a great light because it shines on here so sorry about that and I am going to ink up the nest and I'm just going to do a test run in that negative space there and that's not very not a great job but you can see that I've got it in the right orientation so then I'm going to take the piece I've already die cut out I'm going to put it there ink up the nest again and stamp and we've got the nest stamped. I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to bring that light back like that. Okay, now I'm going to take, clean off that stamp because if I don't, I'm going to get um, soft suede all over me. And I'm just going to put it there. And then the next one I want to do is the bird. And you can tell I've been playing around today. And I just keep the, this is just the negative space that I've die cut out. I was making all kinds of cards today. So these are things that I've die cut out earlier. And um, I'm gonna put, oh no, I'm not gonna do that yet. Oops. Uh, the bird. Okay, so this bird's a two-step bird. And I'm going to take first, the um, part that I'm going to do in, in uh, Black Memento. And where's my Black Memento? Here it is. And I'm going to ink up the bird on this side. And stamp it. Oh, I should have actually made sure that I was in the right spot. And you see, I wasn't in the right spot. I goofed it. So let me do this one more time. See, I cut out extra birds just in case. So see, I'm not in the right spot, so I am going to take this and move it a little bit. Actually, I've got to cut it off a bit because it's a little too high up here. But I can't lose those flowers because I need those flowers. Okay. So I'm going to try, I'm going to use this bird instead. It's the same, same bird, but... Um, let me see if this one's better. Let me do it this way and put it in the negative space. Like that, pick it up. And let me see if this one is better. Yeah, that's better. Except I've got black ink on me. Okay, let me just this is why I wear pajama bottoms, because uh, I can use them to um, clean off my fingers. <laughs> Sorry, you don't need to know I'm wearing pajama bottoms, do you? Uh, I'm, I'm dressed, I'm showered, I just have my pajama bottoms on. 
I always stamp on my pajama bottoms because they are like painting pants, right? So there we go. So there's the bird. And now I gotta take him off. I'm gonna clean him off one more time. And now I'm going to put the um, solid bird in there like that. I'm gonna move it over. I'm gonna create a new template. So that way I'm gonna be able to see it easier. So I'm gonna move it over like that. And we're making this bird um, Lello. And so it's actually Bumblebee. Yeah, it's Bumblebee. And I'm gonna stamp in here. And it's not perfect, so I'm going to move the template a little bit like that. There we go. And now I'm going to ink him up. And let's keep my fingers crossed that this worked. So you can, I'm gonna move it up a little bit so you can see it. There we go. And there's the bird. All right, I'm going to, there's one last thing we have to, I have to do and clean this off. I'll put that on the side. And now I'm going to do um, the little flowers. I'm just finding a clean spot on my grid on my grid paper. And I'm, we're going to be using the Misty Moonlight for this because it is my favorite. And I think it just adds some richness, some color. So I'm going to take, um, oh no, the stamp. Sorry, forget what I'm doing half the time. Putting the stamp in there in the negative space, picking it up. And now I'm going to stamp on that and stamp down. And it's a little off. I don't know. You can see it's just a little off. So I'm just moving the paper around so that it gets um, even space all the way around. And now I'm going to put in my flower. There we go. one and I love this flower because it's got um, it's a, like a two-tone effect there we go there we go um, I'm gonna actually do a bunch of them and this is one of the reasons why um, I love doing this technique is when you want to do multiples of something or if it didn't um, come out um, bright enough for you, you can go back and, and restamp. But when you're doing the flowers like this, you can, um, you know, at your leisure, die cut a bunch out, and then when you got you have your template set up, you just do a whole bunch and just keep stamping and um, placing your flower into the negative space. And I'm going to do one more. Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to do one more. Oh, Elizabeth, I thought you had cut out five. Or did I cut out five? I did, but I mucked one up. Oh, well. Okay. Enough. I will work with four. Okay. And now I can put that away. I can bring this light back. Um, there's no more reflection oh there it is silly me see i told you i thought i did five you know everything should be done in odd numbers right one three and i thought i did one in five i did five there we go there's the fifth one okay now i can Put the stamp apparatus aside and now we can finish making the card even though I've got ink all over my hands okay I'm going to use this card here for inspiration what I did oh and I did I tell you this I die already die cut out um, some old olive um, branches I cut out two but you really only need one I'm going to take my uh, nest 
and I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals. One, two, three, and I'm going to put that towards the bottom of the um, oval shape. Like that. And now I'm going to take the branch and I'm actually going to cut it like there. I want two pieces and you don't want this stem stick in there. And how did I do this? Did I put, no, I must have done it like this. So I put this one, I tucked it in and because you've got the um, dimensionals are down, you may have to play with where this is going to go. And I'm just going to use dot, dot, dot. If you wanted to, you could use the adhesive sheets. That was just one more thing I didn't want to have to break out today. So, or you can use the silicone mat and a sponge dauber. That will work as well. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one kind of like that. So I want to put um, adhesive on these parts, but I'm not going to put adhesive on those parts because they kind of go over. And I am going to trim off this just a bit, but we're going to put a flower down at the end. So the flower is going to cover this like a bouquet, the end of the bouquet. And again, we're going to use my um, customers know this. I have a technical term when I use Tombow, dot, dot, dot. And that just makes life so much easier. Like that. Okay. Um, and now we are going to, ah, oh, did I do the, I did do the bird. Where, what did I do with the bird? Oh, there's the bird. Bird is the word. Oh yes. Okay. So, um, I'm, the bird has feet. I'm not fussing around with feet. So I have, a, I've just used the Stampin' Blends, black Stampin' Blends, or you can use the black marker. I'm just going to cover, color in that right there where his feet would be. I'm not fussing with feet, folks. Like that. And you're not really even going to see it because it's going to get tucked in like that. And I did, I did pop him up. So I'm just going to use a dimensional. I just used one dimensional on him and he is going to get kind of tucked in on the edge of the uh, nest. Um, don't have the, um, his tail too far, too far over because we're going to get into how to um, uh, assemble the card and you can't have too much on that side. And now I'm going to cut dimensionals and you know, if I was a really good Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would get out my minis. Um, but they're in my drawer. Sorry, <laughs> they're in my drawer. I love my minis, but um, I just ordered some new ones and they came. I put everything away and I'm not quite sure where I put them if you want to know the truth. It was one of those things, oh, let's tidy up. There's so many times I tidy up and I can't find my, my, what I've, <laughs> my tidy up stuff. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. And we're going to put one there. So we've put one sort of to cover the ed, um, end of the, the stem. And I'm just going to put a flower up here. And um, you know what? I may not put another flower on him. I'm untying him now. So when we assemble him, um, I still need to add, uh, what do I need to add? Oh, the, the um, uh, rhinestones. Um, so when we assemble him, we need to make sure he's to the right because when we fold him and we fold him flat, he's going to go in the envelope. If too much is sticking out on this side, he is not going to fit into the envelope. So um, you just need to, to play with it and make sure that you've got it right. Whoops. And yeah, you, you have to kind of take the card apart to put them together. So I'm going to do it like that. And let me just make sure. And I have my envelope here. 
like that. Okay, so um, can't go past this edge. So, or it won't fit in the envelope. Okay, and see what I mean when it's it, that straight, but your tendency would be to put it like this, but then when you put the card together, that's not straight, right? So it's gotta be on a bit of an angle. And that's where math comes in. And I'm not good at math. Okay, so again, I'm going to put them like that, and that is straight. And I'm going to take my pencil and just put a pencil mark like that. And I know that my adhesive has to go on, on this side of the pencil mark. And I'm going to use Tombow again. You, um, if you want to, you could pop it up, but, but because we've already popped up so many things, it just will make it really bulky. Okay. I'm making, I know I'm making this, I'm making it sound harder than it is, but it really isn't difficult. One year I did a card and it was, um, uh, it was a year where they had the snowman, the, the Santa and the sleigh, and I had the sleigh going over like it was really pretty. The sleigh kind of went over like this on this side. Okay, so there he is together, and I'm going to finish off doing these. Um, I think one more, and I'm going to put it right, right there. And I need my, everything needs some sparkle. And I'm going to get my, if you wanted to, you could color the rhinestones with your Stampin' Blends. You can color them uh, Misty Moonlight. Um, I'm going to, I just want the sparkle as it is. And I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, and we're not finished yet. Oh, we're not finished yet. Um, and the last thing is the hello, or the, not the hello, what did I use? I used, oh, thank you. We all have these cutoffs from when we do, let me just get one. We all have these cutoffs. I've got a drawer full of them. And I'm going to take it, oh, without getting my head in the shot, and I'm going to use, can I do it without getting my head in the shot? I think I can. Um, can you see that? I need to move it up a little bit. Thank you. And I'm going to cut it down like that. And then I'm just going to fork it in the middle. And then left, right. Didn't do a very good job there, did I? And then again in the middle and left and right. And I am just going to put the thank you <clears throat> like that. Let me just make sure I've got it straight. I'm going to put my thank you like that and I'm going to use um, it's just some Tombow glue across the top and adhere it um, onto the bottom of the, the nest. Like, oops, like that. There you go. And now if you wanted to, you can um, write your sentiment. I would write it in here um, to get the sentiment like straight if you're going to stamp something. Oh my god, it's a pain. Um, I did it. How did I do it? I kind of went like... How did I do it? Like that is straight. And you take your ruler. Okay, I don't know if I can show if I can show you this. So you take your ruler like that. Find 
so you know that's straight and you can put a little tick mark left and right and that way when you go when you open it up you'll know that it that's the that's straight and so you can stamp your sentiment in there I'm not gonna try it because I many times have not gotten it straight or maybe I should just to prove to you that it can be done right maybe I will do that okay so where's my pencil so here is my ruler straight and I'm gonna put a little pencil mark there and a little pencil mark there and now I'm gonna lay this here and I'm gonna have to stand I'm gonna have to stand up for that so on my grid paper I've got it going along the grid and I've got my pencil mark there so I'm on the grid paper here and I'm on a level even pane over here even plane I should say there's my pencil mark there and here is my pencil mark there and let me get a sentiment mm. so I put um, thank you and your friendship means the world to me. Uh, your friendship world means the world to me, and let's hope that my that it's on my block straight, or I'm on my uh, I mounted it straight, right? And I have to stand up for this. And I need the. It's really on your on your eye. It's um. It's really because this doesn't look straight, right? And so it really is fools the eye. Your friendship. Oopsie, I want to do it like that, but no, it's like that. Your friendship. See, it looks like it's crooked, right? <laughs> oh my God, I hope it's straight. <laughs> and that's where you would tie it. And there is there's the sentiment and it's, and it's straight. And then I would just um, erase those little pencil marks. Oops. I'm trying not to touch the blue. Um, so that's the um, sentiment. And then just using a little eraser, take off, erase those two little pencil marks. All right. And that's the card. And it folds flat like that and will go into a standard envelope. So thanks for stopping by today. Uh, how long was that video? Oh, it's 37 minutes. I hope you stuck it out. Um, and I hope you learned some new tricks. I, I like the um, uh, uh, stay sharp or the stays on, not stays on, Sharpie down the center of my uh, scoring tool. And I use that a lot. So, and I always use the uh, Stamparatus trick as well. So I hope you found that interesting and um, hit the subscribe, hit the like and follow on to the next blog and, or vlog, I should say, and have a great day. Take care.